We've all taken part in a treasure hunt a time or two, maybe oh, yeah. years back. Oh, I'm a little younger. But <laughs> hundreds of people across the entire globe are taking part yeah. right now in a week-long international scavenger hunt, all for a good cause. On your side's Karen Lear has the story. Don, Michelle, the whole point of Gishwis, or the greatest international scavenger hunt the world has ever seen, is to shake up your normal routine and spend a week straight exploring, creating, and doing the unimaginable. People around the globe and right here in the Treasure Valley are on the final stretch of a week-long worldwide scavenger hunt. It's called Gishwiz, uh, which stands mean? for greatest international scavenger hunt the world has ever seen. We have a week to complete everything, and we don't sleep, and it's awesome. <laughs> Leanne Collins and her group of 15 are one of hundreds of teams around the world taking on a list of random and unthinkable tasks with the hopes of coming out on top. We've got 190 um, items this year and we have to find them or do them or create them or whatever. So it's but basically trying to get as many of the 190 things done. Exactly. As you can. Yep. Things like creating a bathing suit entirely made out of candy or making funny faces while buried up to your neck in sand. We are dressing up as superheroes and playing bingo. We've been making a post-it note collage or mosaic of Michelle Obama. The mission of the whole project is to bring death to normalcy. Life can be so boring, so we this week just shakes it all up and we make the impossible happen. And some goals on the list are most certainly abnormal. A picture of a fish catching a fish with a fish. So we've got a, uh, a shark costume coming and then we're going to go fishing with a live fish and catch another fish. The tasks are also filled with good deeds like becoming a bone marrow donor, getting CPR certified, or helping a senior knock something off their bucket list. Each task on the list is associated with a certain point value, and the teams are required to show photo or video proof upon completion. The Elipus mosaic made out of dirt and stuff is 27 points. The team with the most points at the end of the week wins a trip to Croatia with scavenger hunt creator and actor Misha Collins. We probably won't win. It's mostly for fun and just the experience. Each scavenger hunt participant pays a registration fee at the beginning, and all of that money goes to Random Acts an organization aiming to conquer the world one random act of kindness at a time. In studio, I'm Karen Lair. Today, six on your side.